Hi everybody, welcome back to my lecture series. Today I would like to talk on the landlord and tenant valuations with a specific topic on premium calculation. Premiums may be needed to be paid for this whole interest. Due to that, we have to know how to calculate the premium. This is my lecture outline. First, I would like to discuss on the premium definition. Second will be on the reason to pay a premium. The third one is on the premium calculations. And the fourth one is a case study example. Premium can be defined as a sum of money that is paid by the tenant to the landlord at the commencement of the lease or during the lease in return for a reduction in rent. So the main reason for the premium payment is for a reduction in rent either at the commencement of the lease or during the lease. So there is some basis to premium calculations. Okay. First, when the landlord agrees to grant a lease at less than its market rent, the landlord is actually prepared to forego some of the annual rental income in return for a one-off capital sum payment at a commencement of the lease. So, this one-off capital sum payment, we call it as a premium. So, the amount of the premium will depend on both landlord and tenant, but generally it is intended to equate with the reduction in rents. There are many advantages for premium payment, okay, especially to a landlord. Okay, the first that advantages is the landlord can hold cash to meet an immediate expense or to make any kind of investment. Or maybe the landlord can could may reduce the diminishing effects that inflation has on the value of future income in real term or maybe the landlord could have the tax advantage or maybe it could increase landlord security of income and reduce some of the risk in relation to the premise. There are some advantages to a tenant of premium payment. It could be that this premium payment could be useful as a loss or deduction from profits when being assessed for income tax or capital gain tax, or it could may reduce future recurring expenses. Okay, we go to the premium calculations. There are some methods of calculations, but today I will only discuss the two methods right for our lecture today the first is the calculation involve the equation of the landlord's loss of rent and the tenant's gain of profit rent for the duration of the proposed new lease term or maybe we can calculate the reduction of rent by using the formula of annual equivalent of premium which is equal to the amount of the agreed premium by both landlord and tenants at the beginning of the uh, lease divided by the year's purchase during the year's purchase for the leasehold. So, indirectly, annual equivalent of premium also can be known as a reduction of rent. Okay, we go to the case study example one. This study, this case study example is about a landlord has granted a new 14 years lease of a shop. Okay, the full rental value is a 1,500 per annum. However, the tenant only agreed to pay 1,000, which is less than the market rent. But provided that the tenant has to pay a premium at a pile upfront of the lease. So now we have to calculate what is the proposed premium that the tenant is willing to pay so that the tenant can pay only 1000 per annum at the beginning of the lease for the next 14 years. 
Okay, so, so this is my case study example working answer. So the first that we have to know that this diagram on this new 14 years list, alright, so this is the beginning of the list. We also have the rent agreed at 1000 per annum. Okay, so the tenant has agreed to pay 1000 per annum for the next 14 years until the tenancy ended. Alright, with full aware that the market rent for this type of property is a 1500 so due to that tenant has to pay a sum of premium to the landlord at the beginning of the tenancy in return for the tenant to pay the 1000 per annum so in this case we look on the working answer here for the tenant instance all right so the FRV, I mean the rental, uh, the market rent, yeah, is a one thousand five hundred. However, the rent agreed for the tenant to pay is only one thousand. So there is a profit rent to the tenant, all right, of five hundred per annum. So this five hundred per, per per annum is a profit rent to the tenant, and due to that, this is going to be the profit uh, due to the rent rots to the landlord so actually the the landlord lost five thousand by giving this lease to this tenant because the landlord fully aware that the market rent is a one thousand five hundred but the tenant only agreed to pay one thousand okay due to that the tenant has to pay a premium how so we go here, then we get this, uh, the proposed premium to be paid by the tenant at the beginning of the tenancy is about the 3000 So, if the tenant willing to pay about 3000 at the beginning of the tenancy, then the landlord might agree for the tenant to pay 1000 per annum for next 14 years of lease until the tenancy ended. Okay, we go to the case study example 2. A short property is to be let at RM 50,000 on 5 year normal lease term. With the open market rental value on similar term is RM 75,000. Okay, so we look at here that uh, the property is going to be let at a 50,000 which is a below market rent which is a 75,000. Okay, now we have to calculate the proposed premium that the landlord requires and the tenant could afford to pay. So now we have to look on both sides, alright. So maybe the landlord has his own view on what actually that amount that the uh, premium that the landlord thinks that he deserves to have to receive. And then tenant also maybe has a view on what amount of premium that the tenant could think that he can afford to pay. So, when we look on the working answer here, alright, so we go straight to the diagram, we look at here that the tenancy will enter into new lease for the 5 years new lease term. Okay, we go for the first review of the 5 years new lease term, alright. Okay, at this 5 years new lease term, okay, from the date of valuation towards the end after five years, okay. If the landlord agree, all right, for the tenant to pay five hundred for fifty thousand per annum, okay. So we have to calculate what actually is the premium that the landlord requests and how much the premium that the tenant could afford to pay. So we look on this uh, uh, landlord interest. Okay, we go to the value of the landlord interest we go here okay frv the, uh, the rental market value is a uh, 75000 here all right if the tenants uh, if the landlord agree to lease this property to the tenant with the 50000 per annum he only can enjoy the 75000 after the lease ended which is deferred 5 years all right so 
let's say the rent agreed at the rupees thousand, so the landlord loss of rent is at twenty five thousand. So this twenty five thousand loss for every year, every year landlord would loss twenty five thousand. Okay, for the next five years. So we capitalize this loss of rent by the landlord to YP single rate is a five years for the five percent. So we have this is the amount that the landlord could request from the tenant to pay because this is actually represent the loss that the uh, landlord could loss due to the agreement of the fifty thousand per annum uh, uh, rent receipt. Okay, so so we go to the tenant interest. Right? So we go to the tenant interest as as, as we look here. Okay. The market rent is at seventy five thousand. Okay, okay. The proposed rent agree is at fifty thousand. So the tenant gain of profit rent about the twenty five percent. So for the next five years, every year, tenant could gain profits of twenty five thousand. Dear opposite from the landlord. Can you see that? So this twenty five thousand gain by the tenant. Every year for the next five years until the tenancy ended. Due to that, we capitalize this profit rent by the tenant, and then we get this is the amount actually that the tenant could afford to pay to the tenant and uh, to the landlord. Okay, you can see here that the there is a two amount, two different amount from this both parties. All right. The landlord could request for the one hundred thousand, but the tenant only could can afford to pay is about the sixty six thousand. So actually, the agreed premium will be the compromise between the landlord and tenant's view. But some other reason, uh, they might have the uh, the agreement on make it uh. Very straightforward on the plus and divide by two, so they have this eighty seven thousand. So it could be that plus minus, it could be that hundred thousand, it could be that sixty six thousand. But the 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 premium paid to the landlord cannot be less than sixty six thousand. All right, it could be the minimum. All right, that, that landlord could be. Ask for more. It it could be the landlord could ask for the one thousand uh one hundred thousand, because actually the loss at landlord's interest is about one thousand, right? One hundred thousand, uh, in terms of value for this lease agreement, right? So maybe this is the suggestions. Maybe that they can have the. Plus two and divide by two, so we have about eighty-seven thousand. It could be that around ninety thousand, okay. So plus minus, so it could be the amount that the premium could pay by the tenant to the landlord. Okay, we go to the case study example three. This is a shop is let on the fourteen-year lease on FR term. The FRB is one thousand four hundred. You see that here. The market rent is a one thousand four hundred, and then the tenant has agreed to pay a premium. Definitely, the tenant don't want to pay one thousand four hundred per annum. That's why the tenant agreed propose to pay a premium of the four thousand at the commencement of the lease. So in this case, we need to calculate what is the commencing rent should be should the tenant pay. Alright, because now the the tenant agreed to pay four thousand. Alright, one off at the commencement of the lease, and then both parties, both landlord and tenant, fully aware that the market rent is one thousand four hundred. So we have to work out on the what actually is the amount that the tenant should pay every month or every year. Commence at the uh, starting from the commencing uh, uh, tenancy for the next fourteen years, with the agreed to pay a premium of a RM four thousand. So we look on the working answer here. So we look on this uh, diagram. All right. Okay. So 
as we know that right, the 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 market rent is a one thousand four hundred. Definitely, the tenant don't want to pay this one thousand four hundred at the beginning of lease date. That's why the tenant proposed for the premium payment of the four thousand. Okay, so we want to know what is the reduction of rent in order for the uh, tenant can pay at the very beginning of the lease. So we look on the calculation of the reduction of rent first. Okay, to calculate of reduction of rent, okay, we have to use the formula of the annual equivalent of premium. So we use this uh, formula and then we start with the agreed premium payment. So in the question, we said that the tenants agree to pay 4000 Okay, divide by the year's purchase leasehold interest and then we got the 724 per annum. So, RM 7,000, 724 per annum is a reduction of the, what? This is the reduction of the rental payment to the landlord, okay? This is not the uh, the rental payment but is a reduction because the annual equivalent of premium is a calculation for a reduction of the rent. So we need to deduct this 724,000 to the market value so we can get what actually the actual rental payment by the tenant to the landlord. So we go here at the Number two, proposed premium payment rent by the tenant. So, definitely we know that the market value is uh, 1,400. And then we less, okay. We, we did out the annual equivalent of the premium. So, we already work up here what is a uh, annual equivalent of premium. We already work up on the reduction of the rent due to the payment of the premium of the RM4000. We have here is a uh, 724 per annum due to that. So we have this new amount of the rental payment at the beginning of the tenancy, which is agreed by the tenant and the landlord to pay. Alright, so proposed commencement rent for tenant to pay at the beginning of the tenancy is 676 per annum. This, this amount is already reduced from the 1,400 market rent by reduction of the 724 due to the payment of the premium RM4000. Okay, so now this is the rent paid. Okay, the, the rent paid of the 676 must be agreed due to the rent if premium paid. If the premium paid at the 4,000, right, so the, the rent from 1,400 can be reduced to 6,076. The reduction of the 724 ringgit Malaysia is actually due to the payment of the premium at the at the beginning of the tenancy. Thank you for watching.